And here we go, continuing with Apuleius. A bit of word search for the full stops for today's, and you can see that we're going to end with a lot of little short sentences, but this first one's rather long, though there's a couple of uh, question marks. So yesterday it ended with, um, even with, uh, if Venus was Calva, which is the female version of Calvus, which is bald. So if uh, Venus had been bald, she wouldn't have been so pleasing to her husband. Anyway, nine. What cum capillus calogratus? So what's a pleasing color? Uh, capillus is plural, it's uh, hair, dative ablative case. So what in lucid? So it's shining, nitors the sheen or shining, and so it's uh, splendidus was the male version. So what's more pleasant uh, color in the hair and shines more splendidly? And it fulgurates, it uh, again shining against the Akiem is usually a line, sometimes it's used for line of sight. It's, it looks like for their line of the sun's sunbeams. And so uh, vegetus means briskly or actively or energetically. So uh, what shines so energetically against the uh, line of the sunlight? A valve got a, probably an ore here. And what re in, what reflects uh, placidus? Uh, it's not comparative or anything. Uh, Placid is just calmly, so it's shining off the brisk light of the sun, or it's uh, or it's even shining uh, placidus, or in the contrarium gratum variat aspectum. Uh, so it's variating in its pleasingness, its gratia. Uh, contrarily means against it. It's just like we had contra up there. Aspect is uh, what it is to look at. So it's still the sliding things about the. Uh, the hair which was going on yesterday. And nunc coruscans, that's more glistening and glittering. Aurum is the neuter for gold. So now it's uh, the gold is glistening. Um, in lenum mellis, so the golds are deprimited, which means crushed or compressed. So um, into a lenum umbram, so it's a light shadow so it looks like it's the golds in in the color of the hair as well and uh, it's uh, soft or polished some rubbish um, and now Corvina nigritu this is an ablative so it's with blackness of a raven raven black um, emulator so it's riving carulus can mean blue or greeny columbum coli flosculus so this is like the flowering blueness on the neck collar of a pigeon okay so he's talking about birds and gold and all sorts of crap going on um vel cum gatus araba arabicus obunctus so it's oiled or anointed with gatus means drops of arabicus so it's an Ar arabic in origin um oil and with an argu dente, so with a pointy tooth of a pectin, of a comb or a rake, so it's with hair, so it would be a comb. Tenwai, so uh, the thin, sharp tooth. Um, Discrematus, so it's separated and pone versum, and looks like behind the back. Coactus means forced. So the hair's been, it's glistening with blackness and with flowering bits of blueness like a a dove or a, a pigeon and all anointed with Arab oils and finally tooth combed and now it's uh, forced behind the, the neck of the amoritus of the lover. Occurrence means meeting basically, meeting the oculus or the eyes of the lover. Um, add insta, that's a strange one. Insta is a indeclinable word followed by a genitive and it means just like. So an insta speculi, just as speculi, the genitive of a mirror. So the hairs all pull back, uh, force there and meets the eyes of the lover just as a mirror reddits an image or returns an image and it's gratiorem, so it's more pleasing. We had gratus, gratiam, gratio, or pleasant, pleasurable sort of way, and that's the first sentence. And we had correlatives here of ET, the extraterrestrial. Okay, 
quid cum frequentai sub all species cumulat vertisem vel prolixa series practice dorsa permanent. Another question. So verbs are permeate. So what when these sub all, which is the offshoots or whatever, um, but since it's hair and frequenti, it looks like it's ablative singular uh, for an adjective. And species means thickly. So looks like when these hairs are thick and bunched up on the vertus, the vertus is on the top of the head, or paractus, which means stretched out in a prolix of series, in a long series, uh, this hair permeates down the dorsa, the dorsa is your back. So um, it's just asking a question, what about when the hair's up on top of your head or when it's, it's all long stretched out down your back? Tanta denique. So finally, denique, such as the dignitas, the honour or the beauty of the capillamenta, which is a woman's hair in some fancy word, so that quam vis, although with an oro veste, with a golden clothing, um, a mulia is exornated, the woman is decorated, and uh, cetera mondo and omni gemis, so omni gemis is all the gems, so golden clothing, all the gems, and the rest of her mundo, the rest of her day to day neat sort of um, dec uh, decorations that she is ornated with. Um, she can see that, she steps forwards, gets into the public. Tama, nevertheless, Nisi Capellum, unless her hair is distinct, serrated, uh, painted or treated, uh, is non posset to ordear, to hear that she is ornate, that she's uh, ready for to be looked at or whatever. Though I've seen some um, Buddhist women who shave their heads and they seemed pretty neat to look at. Said in mere photoed, but in, maybe in regards to my photos, non operosis, so there's not heavy duty uh, work going into maintaining what she looks like, but in inordinatus ornatus, she, this adds gratia to her, adds grace or pleasingness to her. So she's inordinatus, even though it's male um, looking. And this is another short sentence. NM, for Uber's crines, Uber's is the same neuter word, but I think which means teats and things and richness, but it's probably just an adjective. For the, her uh, rich or rich hair or her um, healthy looking hair was remissos, so it was all loose, and lenita is the adverb meaning gently, and curvice de pendulos. Again, we've got the OS there. So it was hanging down slowly down her on her curvice, which is part of her neck, and then per collar, th and then through or over collars, another part of the neck, basically shoulder blades or something maybe. Uh, dispositus, it was placed there, or was, so it's lent loose, it's hanging, and it's placed there over a neck bone, and sensum um, gradually little by little. Sinuatos, it uh, means bent. Might make that the daily dictionary word. Patagia is part of the Roman tunic, I think. It recidentes. It's participle. And that's a participle from sinuo, which is the verb. And paulispa, it's a bit like sensim, means slowly to its end. The hair went down loosely over her neck, over her shoulders. It's touching on her um, robe. And in the end, ad finum. It conglomerates, so it's bunched up in the summum vertus, and on the top of um, top of a notice is a knot. Add strings to it, so it's all tied up at the end in a knot on top of a head. I think that's what's going on. Okay, so we'll have a daily dictionary word. This isn't it. Pargatim is the gold edging on the tunic. The word was going to be uh, sinuata, so I've got them set up here. Passive. Um, participle of sinuo means bent, and when we click on that, it'll say bend, I bend, wind, wind, I mean, or curva, hollow, out, or excavate. So it's just bent, is what it meant. Okay, Tam, neck deuitus. That's comparative, not much longer. You know, queo, it's like possum. Uh, was I able? Tantum crucium, such torture, voluptus, of pleasure, of a special pleasure, eximiae. 
could I sustain her on? So not any longer was I able, taking the infinitive, to sustain or endure such a, a, a torture, or excruciating torture of this, this um, special pleasure. Um, but proneness in, in, in with the kiss, it means towards her. So prone or straightforward, he went into her. Qua fine. Um, sumum cacumen, capillus ascended. To where the, the capillus is there, climbed up, ascended onto the top of her cacumen. That's the, that's the peak, like um, what did we see, vertisum used here. Um, to where her hair was right at the very end. That he, uh, what's he done? He's impressed a most sweetest melitissimum savium, which is like a basio or an osculum, it's a kiss, illum. Um, so he impressed on her a really sweet kiss on the top of her cacumen. Tum. Then Ila, she, entorsited the curvicum. She entorsited, which means she twisted the neck and, here's E.T. again, um, conversa limus. Limus is an adjective which means askance. It's still a common word or that die out. Uh, make maybe a sideways, she conversed to me, she turned to me askance or sideways with, it's ablative, plural, with morsicanti bus oculus. So this would be present participle of biting, so with biting eyes. Mm, she's got teeth in her eye holes. We've got some speech, she's eating. She says, hey, hey, yes, uh, scholast, that's a... Uh, evocative for like a scholar or the schoolboy as they call it. Uh, the it's not that important. Uh, a dulce in amarum gustulum. You can tell from the e that it's neuter. A sweet and bitter gustulum. This is like a tidbit or taste. Carpis. You're plucking a sweet and bitter taste, schoolboy. As the lobe puts it, schoolboy. Carve. Imperative singular. Uh, beware, nay, lest um, nimia, too much, um, for a long time of sweet honey, dulcedinum and malice, you will contract, uh, contrast, draw to you, or contract, amatudinum bilis, as we, as we see before, amarum and amarit stuff, that means bitter, bitter bile, uh, apparently it means, um, what the hell does it mean? Do they call it literally? They call it indigestion, bitter indigestion. Okay, if that floats your boat. Um, inquem. So I said this is Lucius. Quidistic pronoun. What is this? Est. What is it? Mia festivus. My festivity. My happiness. Uh, when sim subjunctive, probably from the corm. I am paratus. I'm prepared, uh, this could be the adverb vel, even with an uno saviolo, that's a diminutive, even with one little kiss, uh, meanwhile, interim, um, recreatus, I am uh, refreshed or remade, just with one little saviolo, one little kiss. Super, above istum ignem, above, uh, super takes the um, accusative, above this fire, Porectus again, let me see Porectus, it's been stretched out, there it was up there. Um, to be roasted, asare. So he's prepared to be refreshed with one little kiss and to be stretched out above the, her little fire and be roasted. End of quote. And cum dicto, with this said, dictoed, artius, comparative, em, complexus, coepi. So he embraced her, complexist, what's the closest word to that in English, um, amplexist, do we have something like that in English, anyway, he held e e her rather tightly, arteously, and began to saviare her, to kiss her, yamqui, so now, with a emulating libine, with a, a rivaling lust, um, in a morris Paraleatium, or whatever. So it's pa means uh, the same or equal. Equally in love, in a state of love with, with a uh, rivaling lust. She mecumed with me, she, whatever this is. What is it? Conga manescat antide. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. 
I'm not going to look that up. And now with a patentis oris, with a mouth open, uh, another ablative, inhalar to cinema, uh, with breathing of cinnamon, um, and ocursantes, it looks like present potential, and meeting in lizu, this is like a beating or clashing together of their linguas, of their tongues. Um, prona nectario, so... So with a desire, uh, ad libeskin, so it looks like it's growing a uh, lust, and she's a uh, tongue which tastes like nectar, was uh, meeting with his tongue. And are we done? Okay, perio inquam. So I said, said Lucius, perio, if you know your plautus, I'm dying, I'm dying from longing for, or you may more precisely, now for a long time, yam dudum. I, in the perfect, I have died. Missy, unless you, uh, you are soothing, basically. Propitiar means to soothe or something. Um, uh, to this, to these things, Illa, that's she, her, Rursum, again, she deosculated with me. She kissed me. Um, and then she inquitted. She said, Esto, future imperative, be of bono enema, be of good cheer. For ego tibi, for I to you, mutua volendente. I have a mutual will with you. I'm thinking the same as you. Sum man kipata. I'm your female slave. Nec voluptus nostra. Neither shall I defer um, our voluptus, our pleasure, ulterior, uh, much further. Uh, sad but. With the prima facies, with the first torches, I guess after a vespers, the sun's gone down and the first torches come out. Adoro, I shall go. Accusative, cubitum tum, to your cubitum, your bed, your your room. Mm. Ergo, so therefore, Abby, be off. And compara, these are imperatives. And prepare, te, yourself. Enum, for the tota nocte, for in the whole night, it's a ablative of time there. Um, fortita, bravely, tecum, with you, and ex animo, from the heart, I will prolibar, I will battle with you. The battle of love.